Hello guys, I'm here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to review PUBG Mobile gameplay of Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. The device comes with Exynos 990 processor in India and not Snapdragon 865 processor. The variant which we have is a 8GB RAM variant. So performance should be fine. We are expecting the performance to be great considering this is the alternative to Snapdragon 865 processor and considering how good Snapdragon 865 performed on the Realme X50 Pro which is available for around 38 8000 rupees we are expecting similar performance with exynos 990 this is the variant which samsung launched in india currently we are playing on full gyro with claw settings and uh, spoiler there are no touch issues that we faced with the galaxy s20 plus and gyroscope performance is fantastic as well the responsiveness is there so no worries about gyroscope and touch response now let's look at the gameplay by the way you will be able to look at the fps all the time on the screen and uh, as you can see this is where you can see fps Currently we are playing the game without screen recording turned on and this is all raw performance by Exynos 990 processor and still the FPS is below 50. I mean we are playing on smooth and extreme settings which is supposed to give us constant 60 FPS and this device will cost you about 75,000 rupees, 74,000 rupees to be precise. So yeah. Enemies ahead. Now it's time to land in Georgia and we are recording the screen at 1080p resolution. Considering this device costs 75,000 rupees and this is an alternative to Snapdragon 865 device which performs fantastic even with 1080p screen recording turned on like it doesn't drop a single frame at 60 FPS. Let's see how the Galaxy S20 Plus performs and currently as soon as we landed in Georgia we are getting about 40 plus FPS similar performance when we did not record the screen but still I expected better from the S20 Plus with screen recording turned on FPS goes below 40 FPS I mean what? <laughs> Good thing right now is that the device is not freezing like Chipakra issue is not present on the S20 plus as of like as of this match we'll see if whether we face the freezing frames issue afterwards in later matches A bad aim got me killed but anyway let's start the next match where we are landing in Miltapur, one of my favorite locations and let's see how the match goes. This is not a hot drop by any means it is supposed to give like at least 50 plus FPS and the device is giving me 50 plus FPS at times and this is without screen recording turned on and let's see how the device performs now. Enemies ahead! Enemies ahead! M2 
249 against M416. Don't judge me, I'm not an esports player, so yeah. <laughs> What a knock, what a knock, amazing. Now look at the 200 IQ Molotov and how it saves us. So the last person of our team was reviving someone else. If I had not thrown that Molotov then the results would have been different probably. Now the FPS has gone down to 40 and it's about at about 40 FPS because there are smokes around and a lot of squads. Two seconds bhi jine nahi diya yaar. Knockout hote hi matlab third party ho gaye So the average FPS without screen recording turned on are 49, 48 and 47. I mean this is not something we expect from a 74,000 rupees device. We definitely expected better. If Samsung would have launched Snapdragon 865 variant of the device then I'm sure it would have performed much better than what it performed here and the average FPS with 1080p screen recording turned on is at 42 and 43 FPS. I mean, uh, considering the price tag and the flagship processor, even a Snapdragon 855 powered devices such as OnePlus 7, 70 or uh, Realme X2 Pro or X50 Pro 5G with Snapdragon 865 perform way better with 1080p screen recording turned on, 1080p 60 FPS screen recording turned on and this is how the Galaxy S20 is performing. Now talking about uh, Snapdragon against Exynos, I'm going to say performance of Exynos variant is definitely not up there for maybe for casual players. This is definitely a good performance as we did not face major freezing frames issues. But there were a couple of times where we faced freezing frames issues and here are those times. I mean, Samsung definitely needs to improve the gaming performance. We'll take another 10 to 15 days to review the device and uh, if in that time, if we receive any software update which improves the gaming performance, I'll definitely mention that in my review which will be coming soon so subscribe to the channel if you haven't already when it comes to headphone jack i mean there is no headphone jack you have to use usb type c headphones there is no headphone jack adapter in the box as well not just that but let's talk about few good things the device comes with 4500 mh battery and the battery did not drain much not just that there is no heating issue and i mean the device did become warm to like 39 40 degrees celsius but it never crossed 40 degrees celsius which is an excellent thing in my opinion so if you are a casual player then pubg mobile can be played very well like gold diamond tire maybe but if you are thinking to play seriously like on competitive level this is not the android device to go for at this budget you can get iphone 11 that to 128 gb variant or maybe iphone 11 pro if you buy it second hand and i guess that's much it for this particular video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching